For this video, what I would like to do is go through a binomial probability question that uses the TI-84 to help do the calculations. So what we have here is according to a Gallup poll taken in March of 2019, approximately 41% of Americans responded that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. If 12 Americans are selected, we want to find the probability that the following number of Americans will respond. They worry a great deal about the social security system. And I know I told you that this is binomial, but the reason that I know that it is binomial is because I can calculate their answer as a success or a failure. A success is that they respond that they do worry a great deal about the social security system. A failure would be they don't respond this way. We also know that it's a binomial because we have a fixed number of trials. We are told that we have exactly 12, so n is going to be 12. And we are given the probability of success, which will remain constant for all people. Okay. Um, each person that you ask the question would be independent of the other, so all of the conditions are met. And we can count how many people responded yes with um, the question given. All right, so let's get started. I do have quite a few examples, so this is going to take a long time. So I'm gonna go through exactly at least, less than, more than, at most, between um, both inclusive and exclusive. So I wanted to cover all of the different possibilities that could occur. So if there's only one that you're looking for, feel free to fast forward through the video to find that or else just watch through all of them. All right, so let's start with exactly. Exactly means that we are looking for the probability that exactly five, so that means that it equals five, is what we are looking for. So when we are doing this in our calculator, we are going to look for binome PDF. PDF is the probability distribution function or the probability density function, depending upon your textbook and how they explain it. Um, and this will give you exactly one. So this uses the binomial formula to find exactly the number that is given. So what we're going to put in, when you're using binome PDF, it's always in the form n, p, x. So in this case, we would put in 12, 0.41, comma five. So if the table that I have that shows up on my calculator does not show up on yours, this is how you would type it in. So I will show that in just a minute. So let me grab my calculator. To get there, what we have to do is we have to hit second and the VARS key. Above it, it says distributions, and this will pull up all of the distributions. And as you can see, there's an arrow below the nine that says that this continues on. So you can continue down or you could up arrow, it does get you there a little bit quicker. If you remember that this is A is binome PDF, you can just hit the alpha button and the letter A, which is above math. Or if you're looking for binome CDF, then you can do alpha and the letter B. So I will do that some um, later in the video just because I get tired of scrolling through all of this and I know what they are. So we're gonna select A because we know we need binome PDF since we're looking for exactly. Our trials is the number of times, that's our 12. And like I said, this may not pop up on your screen if you have an older TI-84 or a TI-83 graphing calculator. So then we would put in 0.41, and then our X value is going to be five because we were looking for exactly five people responding yes. So then if I hit enter, this is how you would type it into your calculator had you not got that screen. You would do the 12, the comma is above the seven, so I would have just done 12 comma 0.41 comma five. And then when you hit enter, we see that it's 0.2284 approximately. Typically we round to four decimal places. And you can report this as a decimal or you can report it as a percent. So I'm not going to write it out, but just in case you have to interpret your decision, interpret just means putting it in a sentence form. So we could say um, the probability that exactly five out of 12 people will respond that they worry a great deal about the social security system is approximately 23%. So we could round that to 23% in interpreting our decision. All right, so let's move into the next one. 
at least. So if you think about at least, that means that the lowest that it can be is seven. So this is greater than or equal to seven. So if you were doing this with PDFs or the exact probability, you would have to do the probability of seven plus the probability of eight plus the probability of nine, 10, 11, and eventually through 12. So it's very time consuming to do this on your own um, because you would have to do the binome PDF for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So the shortcut for this is to use binome CDF. Okay, so binome CDF is used whenever it doesn't say exactly. So pretty much every other scenario, you're gonna use binome CDF. And again, you're going to use n comma p comma x. You do have to think about the binome CDF because your calculator always starts with zero and adds until you tell it to stop. So x is where you tell it to stop. Okay, so the binome CDF stands for the cumulative distribution function, and it's the sum of the probabilities. Basically, when you plug this into your calculator, it starts with zero and adds until you stop. So since at least does not include zero, what we have to do is one minus the probability that our x value is less than seven. So less than seven is the opposite of greater than, and that would include, or sorry, that would get us all of our excluded values. So um, when I do binome CDF, it adds everything from zero up until I tell it to stop. So I can get the calculator to do zero through six. And then that's what I'm excluding here. So I'm going to do binome CDF n is 12.41. And my x that I'm going to put in is the value that I want it to stop at. So in this case, I want to exclude everything from 0 to 6. Okay, because totally, if I added up the probability of zero all the way up through the probability of 12, we would get a total of one because um, binomial or probability distributions always have a sum of one. So anytime it says at least you have to do one minus the probability of it being less than that value. Okay, so to type this into our calculator, what we would do is one minus, and then we would do the second distributions. And I'm going to do the up arrow this time because it gets there a little bit faster. And I'm going to choose B this time because I want CDF, the cumulative distribution function. And we're just going to type in what we had. Our trials again is 12. Our P is 0.41. And then our X value is the last place that we want to exclude, which is 6. Okay, and so then when if we hit enter, we get 0.1765. So this ends up being approximately 0.1765 or 17.65%. So there's a 17.65 or approximately an 18% probability that at least seven of the 12 people will respond that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. All right, so moving on, less than is easier because of the fact that we're looking for everything that is less than nine which means that we are doing the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus dot 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 all the way up to the last number that is less than nine, which is eight. So because zero is included in the answer, we wouldn't do the one minus, we would just do the binome CDF because we're trying to add things up and we're going to stop at the last value that we wanna stop at. So the last whole value, because this is a discrete distribution, the last whole value below nine is eight. So we would do 12 comma 0.41 comma eight. So second distributions up arrow until you get to B. And then we would do 12.41. This time we want to stop at eight because we are looking for values that are less than nine. So you can see that this is a very high probability of happening. It happens 0.9817 or 98.17% of the time, which is very likely to get these results. Okay, so it's very likely that less than nine people will respond um, that they worry a great deal about the social security system.
All right, so for the next one, it's almost the complement of this one, but because it's more than nine, it does not include it. More than nine means that we're looking for the probability of 10 plus the probability of 11 plus the probability of exactly 12 people responding. Okay, um, so when we do this, more than means greater than, which means that it does not include the nine. We do not want nine included in our answer. So what we would have to do is anytime it's greater than or greater than or equal to, we have to do the one minus because we want to get rid of all of the excluded values since the binome CDF only starts with zero and adds until we tell it to stop. So we would use the 12 and the 0 0.41. And this time we're gonna keep it the nine because nine is not included in our answer. We only want 10, 11, and 12 because nine is not more than nine, it is equal to. All right, so one thing that you can do is you can either do the one minus and then do the second distribution. I'm gonna just hit alpha B to get to the binome CDF faster. And then our X value would be nine, so our stopping place would be nine. And you can see that it looks exactly the same as what we had typed in here. Okay, so then if I hit enter, we end up with a 0.0035% chance approximately. Which means that less than 1% of the time this is going to happen, which means that this is very unusual. Usually in statistics, the threshold is less than 5%. So if it's less than 5%, it's considered unusual. So if you're looking for unusual values, you're looking for anything that is less than 5%. All right, something else that you could do if you've been doing this for a long time, instead of doing the second distributions, you can either hit second enter and it'll bring up the last thing. And if I hit second enter again, it'll be bring up the thing before. So you could always just do this as a shortcut instead of having to go through and retype it. Um, you can also, on some of the calculators, be able to up arrow to go to the last things that you did. So instead of having to go through and type this whole thing, I could have just hit enter here and changed this last value to a nine. So instead of having to go through the second distributions, if you've been doing a lot, just be careful to make sure that you grab CDFs when you need CDFs and PDFs when you need PDFs. All right. We still have a few more different scenarios that can happen. So at most six, when we're looking for at most, that means that the largest value it can be is six, so we want it to be less than or equal to six, which means that we're really looking for the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus dot, 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 all the way up to the probability of exactly six. So you could do the PDF or the formula this many times and add them all up, or you can just use the shortcut in the calculator. Since zero is included in our answer, we're just going to do binome CDF. And then we would do the 12, the 0 0.41. And since six is included, we do want to put that in our answer. So we want to include that in our answer. Okay, so again, if you wanted to, you could just up arrow to grab this one, or you could have done the second distributions and found binome CDF and enter it that way. It's really just a matter of preference for you. So for this one, since we're using six, I'm gonna just hit enter and we get 0.8235. or 82.35%. So there's an 82.35% probability that at most six people will respond that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. All right, the last two that I wanted to do are the between three and eight, inclusive and exclusive. So inclusive means that it includes three and eight, so we would do probability of three, plus the probability of four, all the way up to eight. For exclusive, it means that we're gonna start one above, so we're gonna start at four, and we're going to add until we get to one less than eight, so we would stop at seven. So it's really from four to seven people that responded um, yes to the question that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. 
All right, so for the inclusive, what we are doing, if you want to write this out in symbolic form, is we would say that 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 8. Or we could say that x is greater than or equal to 3, but less than or equal to 8. So what we want to do on this is when you're doing binome CDF, binome CDF st starts at 0 and, t and stops where you tell it to. So if I put down binome CDF, 12 comma 0.41, so n comma p comma my x value 8, it's going to add together 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way until I get to 8. Okay, well, we don't want 0, 1, and 2. So we want to exclude 0, 1, and 2 from our answer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract out the binome CDF twelve comma point four one comma two because two is the last number that we want to exclude. So for between, this is how you would type it into your calculator. So I would do second distributions alpha b. My trials are 12.41. My x value is 8, so I would start with the larger value first. And then I would do subtract second distributions. And I could have done alpha b, or you can scroll through. There's a lot of options. And then I want to exclude 0, 1, and 2 from the answer. Okay. So when I do that, I end up with 0.9084. Or there's a 90.84% probability that between 3 and 8 people inclusive will respond yes to the question. All right, and then the last one that we have is very similar to this one, um, the last one that we just did. But this time we're going to say that x is greater than 3 but less than 8 exclusive, which means that it does not include the 3 and 8. So the last number that we want to include is 7. So we would go 1 less than the 8 because 7 is the last number, the last whole number that is below 8. And then we would subtract out from it. This time we want to exclude 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 3 is excluded. So this time we would do binome CDF 12.41 and 3. So notice that these values change here. The 8 goes down to 7 and the 2 went up to 3. Okay, um, so that's the only thing that changes from the last one. So if I hit second and enter, it'll pull up the last thing that I typed in and I can just change the 2 to a 3. And I can come over and change the 8 to a 7 and hit enter. And we see that it's a 0.7291% probability, or sorry, 0.7291 or 72.91%. So be very careful about the problems, whether it says inclusive or exclusive, because if you notice, it does give you a very different answer. So just to kind of recap, make sure that if it says exactly, you use PDF. All of the rest of the times, you use CDF because it's the cumulative distribution. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.